Okay, so we're going to talk about training methods or training principles. Okay, by now you should have your basic diet plan and uh, a little bit of a, well, a quite good understanding of nutrition, okay? Nutrition is so important in what we do. We are 80% nutrition, 20% training. Okay, most of the time we're eating, sleeping, recovering, or working. We only really work out for an hour a day at most, okay? Or depending on what, what sort of part in your program you're on, okay? It's super important to get nutrition under your belt, and that's why it's first first thing I put on the list to actually learn before we move on to training, which is what we're going to start doing now. Okay, so training principles or training methods, whatever you want to call them. Okay, these are little ways of how we shock the body into continue to uh, grow in terms of muscle or lose weight or the both, depending on what you're doing and depending on what your goal is. But all the training principles work on every single level, whether it's like I just said, okay, weight loss, muscle growth, uh, fitness. If you do the same thing day in, day out, so if I, if I just come into the gym and I want to get bigger arms for, say, or um, if, I, if I want to just lose weight, let's talk about the treadmill, for say, okay? I come in every single day, I do 20 minutes on the treadmill, I get off, I go and do my day. Eventually, my body will start to adapt to that and it will get too easy for it. So we have to step it up and go a little bit harder, or we add in training principles. <clears throat> Excuse me, we add in training principles. So that's what we're going to talk about. The basic, they shock the central nervous system by challenging the body, continuing to challenge it, so it has to continue to adapt. Okay, so that said, got any questions about this, contact me and I'll clear it up. Otherwise, watch the rest of the videos and training principles. Got any questions on them, contact me again, okay? But at the end of this, you'll start to get a, a bit more of an idea of how you're going to add this into your, tra into your training when, I give you, when, you're giving, when you're on your programs you'll start to understand if I say, well, you don't know what a drop set is yet, but if I say drop set, you'll understand the drop set. You'll come back to this section and you can see that or it'll be listed underneath in the, in the video within the program. And how you can start incorporating your own programs together if you really want to. Okay, so anyway, that said, let's go on with it. See you in the next one. Bye.